Hey, what's up guys and gals? Today on deck, Power Nation Daily brings to you the Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR putting out 550 horsepower. If you're a fan of Top Gear, the boys are back. Jeremy Clarkson, Hammond and May sign a deal and I'll tell you where you can watch it at. Lexus has a heart beating car. What? Yeah, it really is happening. And Fiat Chrysler takes home the brass and a huge award. It's good stuff, especially if you're a Mopar fan. This is Power Nation Daily. I'm your host, Gannon Pritchett, and the show starts right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Power Nation Daily. I'm your host, Gannon Pritchard. We got a good show here today. Be sure to connect with us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, social media. Tell us what you want to see and leave a comment on this video because every video I pick my favorite comment and I send you an autographed Power Nation license plate. But first on deck today, the Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR is an SUV that gets it done on the racetrack, well, on the road and off the road. I say the racetrack because this SUV climbed around the Nürburgring in eight minutes and 14 seconds, which is extremely fast for a car or an SUV. The numbers are impressive in the performance of this engine. 550 horsepower out of a five liter supercharged V8 with 502 foot pounds of torque. Zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds with a top speed of 165 miles per hour. If you're looking for an SUV that gets it done, like I said, off-road, this one does. It has true four-wheel drive and independent suspension, but it also gets it done on the road. But it's not cheap, it's gonna cost you. It runs about $111,000. If you're a fan of Top Gear, you're gonna be happy because the boys are back. They signed a deal with Amazon. That's right, Jeremy Clarkson, Hammond, and May are coming back, and they're coming back with vengeance. Get ready for this, it's gonna be good. Jeremy got a little trouble because he decided to punch his producer in the face. I guess he didn't like the way the show was going. I can assure you this, Jeremy's gonna have a lot more control signing a deal with Amazon. So we're gonna see how the show wanted to go according to Jeremy. The technology of the show is pretty cool though. It's streaming and streaming only. So smart TVs, tablets, cell phones, computers, that's the only way you can see it. And Jeremy compares the new generation as a huge blast in the future. He's quoted by saying it feels like he jumped off a biplane and onto a rocket ship. So I'm kind of excited to see how it goes and uh, what the guys can muster up. In other news, Fiat Chrysler finally achieved an award they've never achieved before. Unfortunately, recently they had a pretty big recall, but at the end of the day, the cars are still built very well, and I'm looking forward to seeing how 2016 pans out for Fiat Chrysler. Hopefully the feedback is good, and the recall didn't hurt them that bad. Lexus, they are doing some really cool stuff. Check this car out, it has a heartbeat. No, it really has a heartbeat, look at this electronic illuminating paint that pulses with your heartbeat. Lexus says the only reason why they did this whole heartbeat car is simply to show how much fun it is to drive the RCF with 467 horsepower. Looks like fun to me. For more Power Nation, be sure to stay tuned to PowerNationTV.com and check out the previous episodes like this Z28 Camaro we took for a test drive in Indy. This thing was bad to the bone. You can also check out Power Nation TV on television this Tuesday at 4 p.m. with Extreme Off-Road at Ian and at 4.30, Engine Power. That's on Tuesday. On Thursday, Truck Tech at 4 p.m. and right after that, Detroit Muscle. Thanks for hanging out with us here on Power Nation Daily. Be sure to leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see. I'll pick out a comment and hook you up with a free prize. My name's Gannon Pritchard. This is Power Nation Daily, and we'll see you next time for Top 5 Fastest Fails. Until then, we'll see you soon. See ya.